Alright folks, I'm bringing you three essential tips to save your life. Last time, the other video, I said don't go for the meaty with a high because people can simply poke you. Go for the meaty with only one hit because if you go with the meaty for a full combo, someone can roll and punish you. And I also said don't break immediately. Look to see if your opponent is using an armor breaker or if your opponent is comboing or whatever. I'm going to tell you three more things. So actually, you know what? I'll put in one more. So four essential tips and tricks so that you can stop sucking. Tip one, don't punish ducked grabs with down two. When someone goes for a grab, you neutral duck it. Don't always down to it. Down to it the first time when you haven't cashed out your crushing blow yet. You're down to crushing blow. But after that, once you have no more down to crushing blows, don't just do this when you duck a grab. Go for a full combo. Like that. Right? 330 damage instead of 140 damage. Second tip. Hold block when you're getting juggled. Don't just wait and not holding block until it's your turn and you're on the floor and now you have to get up so you block. Keep your finger on the right trigger always because sometimes opponents are going to drop their combo. That gives you a great opportunity to interrupt if you get up because if you are getting juggled you fall on the floor you oh wow he just dropped it by the time you react and then he launches you again because you're not blocking that's a problem all right imagine Sonya's trying to go for the combo she misses it and then she continues and you get caught because you weren't blocking you see this here's i'm holding right trigger i'm saved do you understand what i'm trying to say here so always hold right trigger when you're getting juggled just in case this happens in the last video I said you should only break when you know you're not gonna get armor breakered. Don't break immediately. That's matchup specific. But let's say that I know that Scorpion as soon as he launches me and I break he's gonna do this. He's gonna try to break armor. In this case, since you know that if you break fast you're gonna avoid this, go ahead and break as fast as possible. Don't delay your breaks. If you're gonna break, break immediately. Here's why. For example, let's say I get the down to crushing blow. Sonia's going to break late. If she breaks late, I'm gonna get the armor breaker. If she breaks fast, I'm not gonna get the armor breaker. Look at this. Got the armor breaker. I was gonna break fast. I'm not getting it. So that means that when you're playing against Scorpion, he down twos you. You know that you have to break immediately. You don't wait. Don't be lazy. Break as soon as it's time to break. Fast breaks are going to avoid armor breakers for a lot of characters. You have to know the matchup though. So just be careful still when you're breaking. But in that case, for example with Scorpion, break immediately. And my final tip is understand hit advantage. Understand when it's your turn to block and your turn to hit. Usually if you get hit, it's your turn to block. For, it doesn't matter what the hit is, let's say I do this. Look at the hit advantage of J19. Cetrion has to block, you can't just... Try to take back your turn, try to push a button, try to do anything else. After you get hit, usually you have to block. What I mean by understanding hit advantage is that certain moves have more hit advantage than others. For example, in Born Against Cetrion version 3, if I do this, get you in a combo, I do this. Is it your turn to push a button? No. Hit advantage 15. You absolutely have to block or you're gonna get punished. You can't bash, you can't down 2 and jades. That, that's often what they do when they panic, they down 2 even on hit after they get hit because it's gonna hit you immediately. However, if I do this... My hit advantage is only 2. Jade could down 2 me. Depends on what I do. I can reinforce it with pokes. But I'm not gonna have time to reinforce it with a slow mid like I did with the wall. Because a slow mid is 14 frames too slow. With only 2 frames of hit advantage, for me it means I'm at 12 frames. This becomes a 12 frame. Her down 2, I don't know how fast it is, it's probably faster than 12 frames. So, as a recap, generally, when you get hit, if you're Jade, you get hit here, you have to block. Generally speaking, but it, when you know the frames, you know that certain moves you absolutely have to block, you can't dispute. Like this, after the wall, block, always. After the tornado, you don't always have to block. When I face a Citrion that tornadoes me on hit, I mash after, like I down 3 or something like that. Because I know it's only plus 2 anyways. And if she's risky enough to reinforce with highs, she might get down 2 because there's not enough hit advantage to jail. So I'll prove it, I'll get Citrion to be the AI and combo me, and then what I'll try to do after the natural barrier, which is plus 15 on hit, I'll try to down 2. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Look at my inputs on the right. 
Look at my inputs on the right, I'm Jade right now. Look at my inputs. I'm trying to down two, I'm trying to down two, I'm trying to down two. She reinforces with a high and it still gets me. It's a complete jail. You can't do anything after the natural barrier. So don't even try. The only thing you can do... I'm Jade right now, okay? She hits me. I block. That's the only thing I can do in this case. Let's try the backdash. Backdash after the natural barrier. Let's see what happens. I can't backdash. Let's try it again. I can't backdash in, backdash in time, so now I'm gonna try to jump. I think you're trying to get you understand the concept. I can't even jump. Alright, now she's gonna do the tornado. I'm gonna mash down too. Look at this. Tornado on hit. I still get her. How is that possible? Because it's only plus two. She's going for a slow mid of 14 frames, okay? Can I backdash? I can backdash, it still gets me because that attack is, uh, has a good distance, but let's all jump. I'll jump over it. See? I couldn't move earlier. So please appreciate hit advantage. Usually you have to block, but in some circumstances, depending on the frames, you can take back your turn, even on hit. But you have to know the frames. If you're not sure, block. Just block. Please like and subscribe. Also, I'm starting to stream on YouTube for like a month, then I'm bringing you guys to Twitch. So please go follow me on Twitch and have a good one.